Thank you for watching our short tutorial on controlling plot style with TechPlot 360EX. Let's go ahead and get started by loading a data file. Our new file data uh, capabilities, we've made it so that all the file loaders that you have access to will be in the main plot file uh, loading interface. The key thing to point out here is that uh, depending on the type of file, you can just select for example, in this case, we're just going to select the solution and open it up. So this is a result that was actually run with Star CCM, and uh, this result, if I just show the mesh, you can quickly see that uh, this is just the domain. This is the fluid. I don't need to see that. So by right-clicking on the fluid, I can quickly hide that zone, which you can now see. This is the vehicle of interest. There's two ways to zoom in, or there's actually multiple ways to zoom in. There is, by holding the, or getting the zoom button, you can actually zoom in on the area of interest. The scroll bar, or the scroll wheel on your mouse, if you def, def, just go ahead and click on that, you can zoom in and out if you want to get to the view of interest. Or you can also hit Control F, that'll put the uh, object in the main view, which is equivalent to going to view uh, fit surfaces, which is control F. And you can also fit all frames by doing a control shift A. We only have one frame, but that's uh, temporary. Okay. So this model, if I double click, you can open up, you can see that we have oh, about 16 zones. Several of these zones are the different individual surfaces. And uh, this is the sphere surface, and these subtracts, I believe, are just the volume zones. So we have uh, the bridge and the deck and the engine face, main inlet, main body. All of these we could select individually and operate them on them here in the zone styles dialog. Another way that you can change an access style is by using our new context toolbar. I'm going to select uh, the bridge and I can hold shift and we'll get all of it here. And I'm going to turn on the mesh and we'll make the mesh yellow. Okay, so we, you can see that I've actually just grabbed a component. Now if, for example, I was more interested in, say, uh, the pressure here, I can go into our contour variables and uh, we'll select pressure, which I believe is 22 or 23 here. Uh, you can see we actually have quite a few variables, so we'll grab uh, the total pressure. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so now that we have that selected, I can actually say, yeah, you know what I want to do is I want to color my mesh by the pressure. So there's the pressure on the mesh. Or I could actually just color the whole body by that same pressure, so I have a fair amount of flexibility. In addition, I can control translucency, so if I right-click, I can control the translucency that's shown on screen. I can turn on the mesh. I can turn on and off the shade. Uh, you can't see the shade unless you turn off uh, the contour, but now if I turn on the shade, you can see it a little better. Uh, if I wanted to look at the creases, I can do that here just by turning on creases, and that's going to put an outline around my geometry and I'll turn off the translucency just so you can see that better. So you can control plot attributes very quickly using the context toolbar. Okay, so that's basic style control. That extends of course to slicing as well. If I drop in a slice by turning on the slice tool, I can control the attributes of the slice much in the same way that I can control the attributes of the individual zones that I select on screen. So if I want to make this slice translucent, or perhaps show the mesh on the slice, uh, which may be a bit messy given the, the density of points, uh, or I could uh, turn on the edge, put on vectors, whatever I might be interested in. I can also turn off the slice quickly just by hiding it. So what that does is turn off that slice group. So if I need to turn that back on, you can turn it back on in the slice details dialog. An isosurface, similarly, if I wanted to look at an isosurface, I can generate that isosurface. It will load the data necessary to create the isosurface, so that'll take just a second. Okay, we'll zoom out a tad. Okay, 
So I can turn off that slice again. Let's go over to the ISO surface and we have the same level of control including showing the mesh or showing the shade or turning off the contour. So not atypical perhaps to show this as just a solid colored surface with a, a mesh. And so I'll, I'll zoom in a tad so you can see that. Um, this is a polyhedral mesh, so we're actually looking at slices through the individual polyhedral elements, and that's kind of messy, so we may want to turn the mesh off and perhaps make it translucent. So again, you can control common plot attributes without having to go to the zone styles dialog. Although uh, it's important to point out that, in fact, you still can go to the zone styles dialog where I can go to mesh here, and if I chose to, I could make the mesh line thickness, say, 1.5, which would be very thick. So you still have the same plot control. You don't lose anything by using the context menus. You just common things, turning things on and off, playing with layers, which also we have global layers on the, the sidebar, are a little easier to get after. So you know, let's go ahead and put that back. So that is a quick overview of how to control plot style using the new context toolbar in TechPlot360EX. Thanks for watching.